Dear students, let's continue our chapter Ruling the Countryside Part 2 today. Before that, let us see the recapitulation of what we studied. The company becomes the Diwan. The company officials began to feel that investment in land had to be encouraged and agriculture had to be improved. And the different revenue systems, land revenue systems like permanent settlement, Mahalwari and Raithwari were introduced in different parts of the world. And last point, as I uh, told you, many cultivators, they deserted the village, means they left the village. So, okay, the income what they were receiving from the land was very less and that is why they left the village. That means they neglected agriculture. You can see. Now, the crops for Europe. By the 18th century, the company was trying its best to expand the cultivation of indigo and opium. See, the British, they realized that the countryside could yield revenue and crops are required in Europe. Some of the crops, they were required in Europe also. Whereas in India, what is happening? The cultivators, they are deserted their villages. And they started looking for some other occupation. So, apim, indigo, jute, tea, sugarcane, wheat, cotton, rice were the crops that the Britishers persuaded the Indian to grow. So, in whole India or in the different parts of India now the Britishers they persuaded persuaded means manana or forced the uh, cultivators to grow like indigo apim jute so jute in which place maybe Bengal then tea Assam sugarcane resin uh, Uttar Pradesh then wheat in Punjab cotton uh, Maharashtra and rice very famous in Madras and they asked the cultivators to grow this. Why? Because there were high demand of these crops for Europeans. Why the demand for Indian indigo? First of all, if you are having any confusion, what is indigo? Indigo is a plant. Okay. Now that uh, um, blue color, okay, that blue color is extracted. And that blue color is uh, preferred in dyeing the cloth. D-Y-E. Dye means color. Coloring the cloth. Okay. India was the biggest supplier of indigo in the world. Indian indigo was being used in the manufacturers. Which manufacturers we are talking about? Of course, cloth manufacturers in Italy, France and Britain to dye cloth dye as i told you to color the cloth so indian indigo indigo is a uh, have you ever come across this word indigo yes you might have now re recollect uh, indigo plain plain okay plain used for the transportation air transportation so indigo so have you observed its color blue so that is a blue color but uh, Indian indigo was being used in the manufacturers in the Europe especially. Small amounts of Indian indigo reached Europe and it was very expensive. So what was that? The demand was more but the supply was less. When the demand is more and the supply is less obviously the rate will definitely inc increase. So what happened? Therefore, the European manufacturers, cloth manufacturers, they need to depend upon another plant that is called the wood plant for its supplement. Now, only with the indigo, they were unable to meet their demand. Indigo supply was very less and it was very expensive too. And that is why these European planters, they preferred another, another choice and their choice was wood plant w o a d and where it was grown it was grown in the tropics only that means it is it was grown in northern italy southern france and in parts of uh, germany and britain it was growing you can say in 
uh, European countries only. And cloth dyers preferred indigo as a dye. But what happened? The cloth dyers, those who were dyeing, coloring the cloth, they preferred indigo. For them, indigo was best compared to wood. Now, why it is so? Because dye from wood plant was pale and dull. It was very pale, बहुत dull दिखता था और बहुत अच्छा नहीं दिखता था, attractive नहीं दिखता था. And that's why they said कि indigo is their choice and they wanted to go for indigo. But what to do? The supply is very less. Hmm? Then how to meet the supply? European cloth producers persuaded their government to relax the ban on indigo import. Earlier, the European traders or producers, European producers, those who are producing wood plant, they only pressurized the government to ban on the import of indigo. Indigo ko uh, Europe country mein aane nahi diya. Kyunki agar indigo aata hai, to unka wood plant ko kya nahi milta hai? डिमांड नहीं रहता है और वुड को कलर को पूछने वाला कोई नहीं है इसलिए उन्होंने कहा कि इंडिया को इंडिगो को रोक लगाओ ताकि यहाँ का जो प्रोड्यूसर्स है सॉरी मैन्युफैक्चरर्स है वो वुड प्लांट को ही यूज करे कलर करने के लिए बट नाउ द यूरोपियन क्लोथ प्रोड्यूसर्स वंस अगेन दे परसुएडेड द गवर्नमेंट टू रिलैक्स द बैन ए बैन हटाने के लिए कहा और उनको ऐसा कहना कि इंडिगो को इम्पोर्ट करे आने दो इंडिगो को Now let's see. By the end of 18th century, the demand for indigo increased as Britain began to industrialize and cloth production increased dramatically. So industrialization to, took place in uh, Britain uh, in the 18th century and the British manufacturers want more and more indigo and there was a huge demand for indigo. Existing supplies from the West Indies and America collapsed for various reasons. Earlier, other than India, they were also um, supplying this from West Indies as well as America. But it was collapsed for some or the other reason. Now the only one or I can say hope was left with India. Now Britain turns to India. Now, वहाँ पर West Indies और America का supply बंद हो गया तो obviously सबका नजर कहाँ पड़ा? India में पड़ा. किस के लिए? Indigo grow करने के लिए. Company in India began to look for way, ways to expand area under indigo cultivation. Now, the company thought more and more uh, lands to be uh, bring under or brought under cultivation of indigo. Indigo cultivation in Bengal expanded rapidly and dominated the world market. Yes, in Bengal, the indigo cultivation, it expanded okay, rapidly and it dominated the world market. World market, the supply uh, from Bengal, that is indigo supply from Bengal began to increase like anything. So, the figure says, according to your textbook, it was only about 30% in 1788 and it reached to 95% in 1810. So, 95% means from where? From Bengal. Commercial agents and company officials began investing in indigo cultivation. Now, those who wanted to invest their money, they thought that if we put indigo cultivation, we will get a profit of the bumper. So, they put money in the money. How did they do it? Investment money means that to give the loans in the form of or uh, taking the land for rent or some purchasing the land or hiring the laborers and forcing them to work like indigo because they consider that agar indigo crop mein concentration kiya to itna income milne wala hai profit milne wala hai ki pucho mat those who had no money took loans from the company and banks even kaise bhi karke jiske paas paisa nahi tha they also started cultivating indigo by taking loan from company as well as from the banks who i am talking about i am talking about all the european traders okay european merchants or um, the investors investors from europe 
Now, how was indigo cultivated? It was beautifully explained through some pictures in your textbook. So, you have to read that without fail. Okay. Now, there were two types of cultivation uh, of indigo. One is niche cultivation and another one is rioty cultivation. So, what is this niche cultivation? Let's see. Under this, the planter produced indigo in lands that he directly controlled or bought or rented or some buying some hired workers okay the he himself is producing the, the planter produced indigo in lands that he directly controlled that land is under his country uh, control either his own land or he might have rented so giving payment for three years जैसे हम mango वाड़ी को अगर अपने को cultivation नहीं करना है तो हम किसी दूसरे को rent पे देते हैं three years के लिए two years के लिए five years के लिए ठीक है you might have seen it might be within your family also अगर आप अपना जमीन को देखभाल नहीं करते हो तो आप किसी को rent पे दे देते हो ठीक है agreement के लिए agreement करते हुए दो साल five five years it's up to you uh, mostly ये mango वाड़ी का होता है even other cultivation is also possible ठीक है तो this is uh, uh, the niche cultivation now under rioty cultivation the cultivators were forced by the company to grow indigo one is you are doing or I can say cultivation on your own and this rioty cultivation the company is forcing the cultivators to grow indigo only now the rebellion with niche cultivation niche cultivation mein kya ho gaya successful nahi hua rebellion isi liye hua indigo could be uh, sorry indigo could be cultivated only on fertile land what is that fertile land it is it cannot be grown on desert soil or some other soil the soil must be very fertile okay that is the first point labor was not easy to mobilize as they were busy with rice cultivation. Another issue with the niche cultivation was that labor. Why I am talking about labor is that, see in your textbook it is given one bigha. Bigha matlab is a area, jase hum uh, hectare bolte hai, aaj kal ka isme, one hectare of land karke bolte hai, aise. one bigha, one bigha agar cultivation karna hai, to uske liye one plows and one bullocks जरूरी है अगर किसी के पास थाउजेंड्स बिग थाउजेंड सॉरी वन बिगा करना है तो उनको टू ब्लक्स एंड ब्लक कार्स एंड प्लॉज आर रिक्वायर्ड इफ यू आर हैविंग थाउजेंड बिगा ऑफ लैंड देन टू थाउजेंड ब्लक्स एंड प्लॉज आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड टू थाउजेंड प्लॉज एंड ब्लक्स आर रिक्वायर्ड मीन्स ऑब्वियसली दैट मच ऑफ पीपल आर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड इज इंट इट टू ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड so labor was very difficult uh, to mobilize as they were busy with rice cultivation mobilize matlab ikatta karo labor logon ko ikatta karna bahut labor milte nahi the simple baat kyun they were busy with rice cult cultivation plows and bullocks were required in large quantities as i told you purchase and maintenance of plows and bullocks was not so simple so last one transportation of indigo was another issue these are all the problem with the niche cultivation now indigo on the land of riots that is the rioty system in the rioty system planters were forced to sign a contract and take cash in advances as i told you the company forces them to cultivate this indigo so they said that we don't have money then how to grow indigo at that time the planters were forced to sign a contract and take cash advance mein advance mein unko paisa diya jata tha okay ek sign contract karke one fourth of the cultivators land was to be bought under indigo cultivation okay we are giving you advance money na okay now one fourth one portion of your land compulsorily you have to grow you have to grow indigo we don't mind what you are growing in other three parts but aapka agar pura land mein zameen mein one portion kya hona chahiye it must be indigo only the planter provided seeds and drill drill means training karna drill karna train karna 
and the cultivator prepared the soil saw the seed and looked after the crop okay we are giving you an advance now you are doing this only in one portion of the land so you have to do everything seeds and everything we will provide you but you have to look after the crop the price of the cultivators got for the indigo they produce was very low and the cycle of loans never ended uh, that means they got very less price for the cultivation of indigo indigo had deep roots and exhausted the soil rapidly why the planters sorry why the cultivators were not ready to grow indigo the main reason is that indigo had deep root and it exhausted or it ruins ruins the fertility of the soil agar ek bar indigo agar plant kare to dusre bar usme aur koi bhi cultivation bilkul nahi hota tha agar karenge to bhi usme koi fasal nahi aata tha the rice cultivation was totally not possible तो इसीलिए क्या करते थे पीपल और द कल्टिवेटर्स दे रिफ्यूज टू गो ग्रो इंडिगो लेकिन ये ब्रिटिश लोग उनको प्रेशर कर रहे हैं टू ग्रो इंडिगो मोर एंड मोर व्हाई बिकॉज दे हैव ह्यूज डिमांड इन यूरोप दे थॉट दैट सो इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इंडिगो विल ईल्ड देयर प्रॉफिट एंड दैट इज वाई दे वेर फोर्सिंग दैम आफ्टर एन इंडिगो हार्वेस्ट द लैंड कुड नॉट बी सोन विद राइस now all this the it resulted into in the blue rebellion blue means indigo rebellion so we will not grow indigo anymore that was a rebellion you can say a type of revolt by the cultivators how it happened in march 1859 thousands of rats in bengal refused to grow indigo as i told you in 1820 sorry 1810 95% of the indigo supply hmm, was from bengal only to the world market now in 1859 what happened the in bengal the producers they refused to grow indigo rents were refused indigo factories were attacked then planters were socially boycotted and agents were beaten so rents earlier they have to give rent also if they don't have the land so they they denied to pay then the factories were attacked then the planters planters means those were wanted to invest and uh, give uh, this one uh, they were attacked socially boycotted unko bahishkar kiya gaya and the agents usko jo agent chalata hai na wo agent ko sab maarne lage in some places local zamindars and village headmen also supported the cultivators actually what uh, what happens ki uh, villages and local zamindar ki baat aati hai to and village headmen why the village headmen also supported the rebellion ulta unko piche se uh, help karne lage अरे अरे करो करो करे तुम्हारे पीछे हम लोग हैं करके वी विल बी देयर इन सपोर्टिंग यू वाई द विलेज मैन और द लोकल जमींदार्स डिड सो इज देर इज अ रीजन एक्चुअली वॉट इन द रैट वरी सिस्टम द प्लांट द प्लांटर्स फोर्स द रैट्स टू साइन अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट और एन एग्रीमेंट इट वॉज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सत्ता एस आई टी टी एट वॉज गिवन इट इज गिवन इन योर टेक्सट बुक गो थ्रू इट and at times they pressured the village headman to sign the contract on behalf of the rat isili even the village headman they doesn't want that and that is why they also supported the rebellions later orders were issued by the british that the cultivators will not be forced to accept advances for indigo production pehle unko forcefully unko advance lena hi padta tha एडवांस लेंगे तो करेंगे ना वन फोर्थ ऑफ लैंड में अब अभी कल्टिवेटर्स का रेबिलियन देख के ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट दे डिसाइडेड दैट वी आर नॉट फोर्सिंग यू टू टेक एडवांसेस एंड इंडिगो कमीशन वाज सेटअप टू एनक्वायर इनटू द सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिगो प्रोडक्शन वेदर सेटअप वाज प्रिपेयर्ड और इट वाज सेटअप कमीशन वॉज सेटअप with the british government to see what is happening in bengal go and see verify survey karo the planters now shifted to bihar now bengal mein refuse karte the na indigo grow karne ke liye theek hai 
ये पूरा प्लांटस को प्लांटस ने क्या किया दे शिफ्टेड नाउ टू बिहार बिहार में तो कल्टिवेटर्स को मनाने में ग्रो करने के लिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं ये बेंगाली लोग ना ये बेंगाल कल्टिवेटर्स ना इतना ये कर रहे हैं रेबिलियन कर रहे हैं तो अभी पूरा प्लांटर्स दो जो वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट नाउ दे मो कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ऑन बिहार बिहार की तरफ उनका ज्ञान गया चलो हम बेंगाल छोड़ेंगे हम बिहार में वापस यही सिस्टम दोहराएंगे क्या है वो कल्टिवेटर्स असाइन करवाना है दे हैव टू प्रोड्यूस ऑन वन फोर्थ ऑफ द लैंड यही सिस्टम रिपीट करने के लिए नाउ दे कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ऑन और टूवर्ड्स बिहार महात्मा गांधी टू ऑर्गेनाइज अ मोमेंट इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटीन इन द फेवर ऑफ द इंडिगो कल्टिवेटर्स इन चंपारण चंपारण दिस इंसिडेंट इसमें इन एडवांस इन हिस्ट्री ओके यू विल बी यू विल कम टू कम अक्रॉस दैट चंपारण इंसिडेंट दैट रेबिलियन यू कैन से अगेन देर ऑल्सो वॉट हैपन दे ऑल्सो लेटर ऑन दे रिफ्यूज टू ग्रो इंडिगो सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू is you have to go through uh sorry you have to uh, refer the textbook see uh written thank you read the chapter as well okay complete the question and answers neatly without spelling mistakes so i am sending the pdf file today itself and special thanks for those who are regularly giving their valuable feedback and motivate us me <laughs> for better teaching that means i am asking the feedback i am every day i am asking the feedback but there are students i'll definitely mention in one of my video the names those who are regularly giving the comment very few are giving but there are they are all every day they are giving so i want that in one or the other way anyhow because we will improve we will through this only we will improve or we can improvise ourselves okay thank you once again for listening me patiently the indigo rebellion 1859 to 1860 indigo is a tropical plant which produces a blue dye that is used to color textiles There was a huge demand of indigo in places like Manchester in the British textile factories. Wood produces pale and dull color while the indigo produces a rich blue color. This is why the cloth dyers preferred indigo as a dye. At the end of 18th century, the demand for Indian indigo was raised very high. The production of indigo in the world between 1783 and 1789 fell by half british turned to india for its supply indigo cultivation niche and rayoti niche system according to the niche system indigo was grown in plantations owned by rich planters the crop was cultivated by laborers rayoti system In this system planters forced cultivators to take loans from them in return for growing indigo on their lands in India mostly indigo was grown through this system peasants usually had no choice they were forced to grow indigo after growing indigo for a few years the crop left the land barren and unusual for growing other food crops the peasants were unable to repay their loans and were always stuck under debt causes for indigo rebellion indigo rebellion of bengal from 1859 to 1860 was the most violent uprisings of the peasants intellectual class supported the peasants dina bandhu mitra wrote about the indigo rebellion in his famous play neel darpan finally the indigo commission was appointed by the british the organized leadership and the coordination of the resistance contributed to the success of the rebellion mahatma gandhi's visit to champaran in 1917 helped the struggle of the indigo farmers in the area to the attention of the nation